I speak a lot about occupying the inner landscape and what that means is for people to become a little bit wilder. And what does that mean? Well, it means to go outside barefoot every now and then. It means to turn your phone off and look at the eagles, look at the coyotes. It means to go for a walk, go for a hike and leave your phone behind. It means to breathe and fully feel your bones and feel the wilderness inside yourself. It means when you're breathing in, feel the wind outside yourself. And as you breathe in, draw that wind inside your body. Because nowadays, the Western world has become very homogenized and it's become very sterile. And what we really need to do is to bring back this wildness. And if you look at poorer communities around the world, like in South Africa or India or South America, where people don't have the money for an iPhone or a smartphone, and they don't have the money for data or to go on the internet, they are connected to a wildness, which is Mother Earth. And we need to be very mindful of what technology is doing to us and how we can reclaim this landscape of this inner landscape of, of, of the wilderness inside ourselves. And the way we reclaim it is to be very conscious and mindful of how we're using technology and also to realize that we are in control. Technology is not in control. And to turn our phones off and leave them aside, take our shoes and socks off, walk into nature and allow the natural world to kiss us, to massage us with the wind, with the with the rain, with all the elements, and breathe it in, and not say, oh, I wish it was a sunny day, I wish it wasn't windy, I wish it wasn't rainy, just breathe it all in. Ah, oh, it's snowing, wonderful. Ah, oh, it's raining, wonderful. Oh, there's a blizzard, wonderful, breathe it in. Because as you do that, and you welcome Mother Nature inside of you, something starts to happen.